Hey all, and welcome back to the Health Icons playthrough of Pokemon Scarlet. So far on our journey, we've taken out the first gym, and we've tackled two of the Titans. So, I think this week we should start by tackling some of Team Star's haunts. And what you know, it, I'm pointed in the exact direction of Team Dark's base. But uh, just before we move on, I have altered the team a little bit. I've added a Paldean Whooper, which is Poison and Ground. And I've also added a Tadbulb. Th this was at Spars asking, because I know he loves the evolution of this dude. Uh, well, I didn't really ask, but I, I do appreciate the consideration, because, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, Bellybolt is my new favorite Pokémon of all time, beating out the previous owner of that title, which was Blaziken. Wow. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, pretty good choice. Three, I think, of my top five Pokemon are all electric type, which I think is pretty impressive, just for that type alone. Yo, Mankey, already got one, but it's cool. Great way to start, just go right into a battle. Ah, Mankey has a, a few more levels to go before it evolves. Yes, uh, do you know how to evolve it further, to go even further beyond. I do, actually, and we have a Water Wingle. Which is basically normal. <laughs> There's nothing special about this. Yeah, I found a Torkoal with normal Terra type. That was a bit weird. Yeah, um, uh, that's a thing. Uh, you can have normal Terra type. It doesn't hurt. It, it obviously changes your weaknesses, and... If you have normal type attacks like Headbutt or whatever, it could still be good for Stab. It's just normal is not super effective against anything, so... True, <laughs> true. Not a great choice for that. That being said, I too would like a giant diamond on my head. You know what? Uh, if you could take it off and sell it. <laughs> oh, it's so shiny. God, I love this theme. It's so great. Have you managed to see, there's one of the NPC trainers you can get that basically just looks like Michael Jackson. Uh, no, I've not met them yet. Uh, okay, I will point them out if I see them. Oh, it has Spark already, great. Damn, yeah, man, you are so cooked. This thing is getting destroyed. <laughs> well, you were paralyzed already, but whatever. Nice and simple. Tadpole, but it's evolution or special attackers, but you make do with what you have when you're this early on. <laughs> I already have a Wingle, but you know what? I'm going to catch it anyway. Bought some more Great Balls just so we don't run out. Honestly, I just like seeing this animation. Spin my galaxy laden ball. Spin! I wonder if the sparkly dust swirling around the Pokeball touches the part of my brain that Naruto sits in because it looks like the Rosin Shuriken attack. Maybe it's just cool and that's why I like it. <laughs> Maybe so, young Spa. I'm only like two years younger than you, dude. <laughs> you may as well be in infant school. <laughs> At least you're not as bad as like Flame. Yeah, man, he's still in his 20s, isn't he? <laughs> Acts like he's a 50-year-old conservative. I got shocked earlier this year when I found out how old Axel is, because I thought he was younger than us, but no, he's like, he's actually a few years older than us, I'm pretty sure. Jesus, well, let's not dox ourselves anymore. <laughs> We've already done. <laughs> right, yeah. Ooh, nice. Black Belt John. Yeah, that's right. What, you expected me to be called Kyoto or something? <laughs> I was expecting Black Belt Knob. <laughs> you think my name is funny, do you? I don't know, do they still do the Black Belt Knob in every game like they did for the first few? I don't know. Oh, he was a recurring character. Yes. I want to say he was based on someone from the dev team, but that might have been the technology is a great guy that I'm thinking about. Now that you've mentioned that, it tickles something in my brain that I forgot. I'm pretty sure there was a black belt knob. I can look it up real quick while you're on your way to the base. Mm. I'm just tackling this and that. 
It's like a smorgasbord. You see a Pokemon, you catch it. You see a raid, you raid it. You see a person, you throw a ball at their head. They just get really angry. I don't understand it, personally. Ah, there it is. They always have those flags all over the entrance, so they're pretty easy to find. They take up big sections of the fields, though, because they are, like, you know, big bases. <laughs> Do they disappear once you beat them? And no, you can actually freely explore them. Interesting. Uh, let's see, let's get Goku out here. Spa did recommend that I, uh, I haven't done anything yet. Anyway, uh, Spa recommended that I just level these guys up a little bit more, because I believe we're taking Mankey, Nimble, and I think the, uh, Fairy Dog into the thing. Yes, Missile or Fido. <laughs> what, what's Tinkerting? Uh, it's one of the new Pokemon. Uh, for this generation, it is Steel and Fairy. Steel and Fairy. Interesting. Well, <sighs> don't really have much good options there, so... It evolves into... Well, it's one of my favorite evolution lines from the new generation. Uh, both based on design and usefulness. They're just kind of cool. It's a baby. And it's using baby doll eyes at me. And it's got a gem in it, which uh, you might like. It's got a gem in its chest. <laughs> don't, don't pander, Spa. I know when people are pandering. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't enjoy it, just don't do it. I've seen artwork of its evolutions with, like, uh, some of Senna's lines from Xenoblade 3, because it's got a giant hammer. <laughs> Amazing. Bless this world, it's trying. It has its moments. Uh, you shouldn't need to heal, but, you know, while well, it's here. Oh, nice! A clear amulet. Protects the holder from having its stats lowered, I think is what that said. Uh-huh. We lost, like, 5 HP. We need a complete heal, thank you. <laughs> I think you would actually get healed before going in anyway. Uh, I guess we'll put that to the test. I would recommend swapping one of those three into the front of your party before you get close. Ah, is that how that works? Alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, change position. There we go. I don't think you need them in the first three slots, but the game will tell you if that's the case when you actually get ready to go in. I think you get to choose which ones you want to take. Well, I'm inside the territory now. Well, you're past the flag. You're not quite at the territory. you got a little bit further to go. They've got a, uh, a roadblock up here that actually would prevent you from getting to the next town if you couldn't just fall down into the desert below and go around <laughs> it, which is exactly what I did in my playthrough. <laughs> Cassiopeia here. You haven't guessed who I am, have you? They didn't put a card on Twitter with my face on it, did they? Oh, no. <laughs> it, it, to be honest, it was kind of obvious without the spoiler. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no spoilers from me. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. That is a cool name. Right, we uh, kind of went and did the other things last time, so we didn't start with this. Johnny Bravo, let's go. <laughs> hey, baby, does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Please don't do that for the whole playthrough. <laughs> do the monkey with me, come on. The name's Clive. Have you played the new Final Fantasy XVI? <laughs> <laughs> no need to get your hackles raised. I'm a part of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Anton? I've never met this man. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> shy as ever, I see. I'm not your pal, friend. I'm not your buddy, guy. We're talking about going up against Team Star, it's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware, I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. You look familiar. Mm, I wish I could have his jacket. 
I guess we do have his jacket. I thought it looked different. I'm blind to clothes as well, Spa. <laughs> I thought the color was popped a bit more. I almost called you Star. That's how Pokemon brain rotted I am right now. Well, speaking of stars, by the time this video goes live, Axel and I should have started our playthrough on the live stream of Sea of Stars. So I hope everyone's looking forward to that. <laughs> What's one more RPG in the mix? <laughs> For real, though. This was voted on by people on Twitter and the HFC Discord, so don't blame me. <laughs> That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Yep, there it is. Ah yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. I guess after this it won't give us the preamble each time. Right, you would have gotten this if you had gone to the Team Fire base as well. You would have gotten the same intro, just over there. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Entom. I did not agree to this. They're basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight, and all of China knows you're coming. The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. Because no one else is competent enough to take over, I suppose. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your Garden Variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Tom. Only you can press the R button. That's right. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. It would be funny if you come to do this base first before you tackle any gyms or before you go to any titans because then you're here and you haven't proven yourself at all. But, you know, they're relying on your trusted skills or whatever. <laughs> you're a cautious one, alright. I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Anton. I'm not going to help in the slightest. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm glad they didn't, like, play it out over the course of the game. <laughs> Thank you for respecting my intelligence. At least for that mystery, not so much the other one, I guess. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a Swablu. Already caught one of those, I think. Uh, I love Squablu and Altaria in design and usefulness, not so much. They're kind of more on the defensive side, which I don't really go for. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you! Are these the same two grunts that we saw at the start of the game? Yeah, Grunt A and Grunt B. You may know us as the second squad. Yup, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Look at the texture on the gate pads. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Entom kid? You know that piece of work that we're out to get for the Claren of War on Team Star? Maybe I am. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. Maybe I am, he says. He's me, he says. I'm him, he says. Ah, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? Bring it up, I'll get out of your hair. Sham on then. Let's be having ya. Please stop zooming in on the texture. <laughs> Ooh, a Murkrow. That's not great for the first pick. No, that's uh, actually a little bit troublesome. This is why we have options. Uh huh. This is why you don't come with only fighting types. <laughs> or bug types in your case as well. Uh huh. See, he was going to attack me with that frame one. It's time for you to spread your wings and become a true fairy! This is truly unnecessary, but I appreciate the uh, the hustle here. <laughs> da, 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 da. This, this frame is cool as well. Check what level Fido evolves. Okay. I think it's 24 or 28. 
It is actually directly in the middle. It's 26. Very good. I like being wrong, but technically right at the same time. <laughs> Yawn's not terrible. It's a guaranteed sleep after a turn. I'm not going to use Poison Spikes. It's fine. No, it's all right. You're probably not going to use Yawn either, to be fair. Unless it's for capturing. Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Got a sassy nature trainer. Oh! Silt is evolving! I really wanted to show him off in battle, but whatever. Yeah, Clodsire! Too bad about the camera. <laughs> I make my own camera. Oh, he's perfect. Clodsire is friend-shaped. See, Amnesia is better than Yawn. I would have kept Yawn for the sleep to help with capturing, but, you know. I'm the one that controls. You can always put it back on, because you can just remember moves freely. I keep forgetting you can do that. That is so handy. Hasta la vista! Yeah, get out I of I love... There. They're so campy. <laughs> She's new to the team, you know. Might have a little chat with her about that attitude. Well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Sorry, I gotta do this to advance the game. Be gone with ye. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Yeah, they had one Pokemon. Yeah. Now hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the second squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. Very cool. He's a sharp guy, even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. So he's the one that made the soundtrack that we listened to in the battle? <laughs> Love diegetic music. It's very funny. It's very cool, even. Don't know why I said funny. It's just the first word that popped into my head. Time to wipe them off the map? I think that might be a little bit extreme. Uh, I guess for safety, make sure the three Pokemon you want to use are in the front three slots. They are. Okay. Uh, apparently you don't get a free heal, but there are free heals inside. Okay. You were close, Spa. Yeah, here we go. Ding dong. Oh, hey, Clive. Careful now, Anton. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. Glad you didn't call it a Meteor Shower. If your Pokemon gets low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. There we go. There's also vending machines that you can interact with that will give you an auto heal. Heads up gang, some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. It's kind of stupid that we didn't just lock the gate behind <laughs> to, us. <laughs> to our want to guess, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with our appearance. Very cool. Fortunately, you don't have to battle them individually. It does it like this. Let's go. Oh man, here they come. Yeah, imagine trying to defeat 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes when you have to go into each individual battle. That's crazy. This is pretty much it. You just kind of run around and, and do it like this. <laughs> it's a good thing the Pokemon can't hit you. <laughs> that would be very funny. Highly recommend going to use one of those vending machines before you hit the 30, so that you're healed up for the boss. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, this is kind of fun. 
Sandile evolves into another one of my favorite Pokemon, Crocodile. Hell yeah. Gen 5 represent. They're so tiny. Can't even tell what those are. Minuscule. They're nimble? Is nimble dark type? It is. It's, it's Bug Dog. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Are we getting any XP for this? I don't think so. Because uh, if you did, then you could like get partway through this and then give up and restart and just farm that instantly. Yeah, or that's infinitely true. rather. Yeah. I never ran into any trouble trying to get these in the in the time limit, just because they tend to go pretty fast. Oh, yeah, Nimble's going to have a tough time with the Murkrow, unfortunately. Alas. It should recover once you go use one of the vending machines, though. Oh, I can't bring out Karidot here. No. That would be... I'm not really sure what that would be, but <laughs> it would be something. It doesn't even take out any time, either. No, nah, you could have just not stopped this place. For real, though, they, uh, they sure made a lot of poor decisions in preparing for this. <laughs> Look, we're a team, not a Mensa society. Love these guys. Ponyard and I can't remember the name of its evolution. <laughs> uh, it has escaped me. I know it has a new evolution, though, making it a it uh, does. a third stage Pokemon, and it looks very cool. It's very cool and has a very weird evolution requirement. See, that's textured fine. Yeah, very cool. I love the presentation in this game. Not so much the technical side, just the aesthetic side. Yeah, the aesthetic and design is really cool. It's just... I wish it looked a little bit better technically. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll play a sick Requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! Nice riff. Oh, it's so good. How am I supposed to hit you when you're all the way up there? Don't worry about it. Dude, I just took out 30 Pokemon in like less than 5 minutes. Nice. Now I'm curious about something involving his next Pokemon. Which is the giant car. Does it have a weight class to match? Because if so, then low kick would be nuts. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Oh, Oh, that's disappointing. So this is basically the equivalent of the Titans or whatever, because it's got a special HP bar. Okay, so I don't think its weight class is like super high. I'd go with Cross Shop, yeah. Let's try and do the business on me. Goku is oblivious to sound. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> alright. How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, party crasher. It took you three turns to do damage, buddy. <laughs> oh, he avoided it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I would... Yeah, that's that would have been my recommendation. <laughs> Bork. Wow, lots of misses in this battle. Yeah, he keeps using attacks that don't have 100 accuracy. <laughs> and then Swift. <laughs> this music, though. It's going crazy. The guitar is nuts! <laughs> oh, I like how the car's getting affected as the battle goes on. Now 
All right, one more. Let's finish it off. That wasn't gonna KO me. No, I think even with a crit, you were fine. All right, nicely done. Thank you. Maybe your Pokemon would have done better if it weren't dragging a giant car around with it. <laughs> I guess that's the. Now it's time for flashbacks. About a year and a half ago. Shadows. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted my take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all. Also, a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we've got to make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Yeah, everyone's kind of doing their own thing. You gotta get everyone together. Uh, no, no thanks. Too much pressure. I, I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me about that, right? Of course we know. You face a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they won't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. This guy was putting rules up like that when he's got wings for hair? Yeah. <laughs> You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. Probably not great that I took him out first, then. Okay, okay, thanks for the Yugu boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? Hell yeah. Giacomo's cool. He's, like, actually respectful and everything. Yeah, he's chill. Addy makes great music as well, what's not to like? Oh, you get a nice TM. Foul Play, which I think is... It's a Dark-type attack that uses the opponent's attack against them, yeah. So this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the Academy? Like, what moves you should use and stuff? No, we've actually never been to class. <laughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I never attend, but I like I like the field work. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, well, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. Or the sun. The lighting changed. <laughs> I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why would you break up the team and start attending class at the Academy again? Like this young fellow here, or, you know... As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? Precious, what are you getting scared by? <laughs> Precious is trying to do something on my bed, and she just jumped back from nothing. <laughs> Tension in the story, I guess. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh, is the sky blue? Well, not right now. No, it's currently orange. <laughs> They're my greatest treasure. Ah, It all connects to the treasure hunt. This is my base now. I'm not going to do anything with it. You can run around. There's a few items and maybe a TM or two hidden on the base.
I see. With its boss out of the picture, the Segwin squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Geocomo. Sorry, I got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Transfer those LPs over. Hell oh, yeah, there's a God of War one in here, there's a Sonic 3D Blast one going on right here. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Oh, hey, Penny. Uh, hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Yeah, I, I remember. It was only a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I see. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. Futaba, if she had a haircut. <laughs> and dyed her hair. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia says you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad messes left, so um, good luck. Bye bye. Bye. Really cute backpack, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have a look in here. And now you can ride around. They have their own cyclozars with modifications, apparently. You know, you gotta blast that music. Be sure to check behind buildings, because they like to hide stuff. Usually I think there's a TM behind, like, the furthest building way in the back. Or, like, on top of it or something. Right. Ooh, what's up here? Just a platform. Maybe they have helicopter Pokémon? Maybe. Now I'm thinking of Thanos Copter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I don't think I have a Skidoo yet. And I guess you're not catching this one. <laughs> so much for that dream. <laughs> I wonder if the vending machine still heals you. Nope. They, they completely removed all of the stock once the battle was over. <laughs> that makes sense. And they just do that beforehand. This was being funded by the school, you know. I suppose, yeah. Hmm, maybe this one doesn't have a TM. I know there's definitely TMs in the other ones. Oh, there's a little hill up here. Let's have a look. This probably goes to another exit, if I had to guess. Oh, is there like multiple ways in? Probably. Yeah, there's vending machines everywhere. Oh, there's the TM. There we go. Y yay. Alright, well, um, uh, you could sell it, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, another raid. I don't know if you can get up there. Yeah, I don't know if you can get up there unless you, like, go back to where the Sky Titan was and jump down again. <laughs> no. Don't tempt me. I love jumping off high places with no consequences for my actions. Hello. Uh, it's a bombardier, not a Titan one. Okay, I guess it just forgot its cry, though. I was just checking to see if it was a shiny or not. Oh, I have no idea what his shiny looks like. I really wish they sparkled in the overworld. Yeah, like they did in the Let's Go games. Uh, the roadblock is gone, by the way. This is the city for the fourth gym. Jesus. Yeah, that's why they have the roadblock, because they want to direct you into doing other stuff first. <laughs> Way out there, lads. 
I can hear a chirp of one of the Gimme Ghoul coins. Where you is. It might be on top of the Pokemon Center. How does one get on top of the Pokemon Center? Uh, well, jumping from the right place would do it. Uh, otherwise, I guess you have to wait until you have the uh, bonus that lets Koridon jump higher. Right. Oh, hello. Ooh. Ah, Jesus! Coolio. Right, I think my next destination is going to be the second gym. Yeah, I think it's about time that we go uh, take that one out. They they've had it too good for too long. <laughs> Cause you're gonna you're gonna run rough shot over them. <laughs> Open up the bag. Very nice. That was basically nothing. It's fine. Oh, you're one of those. Alright, let's, uh... Ooh, a raid. I'm sorry, there's so much... Oh my god, what are you? They were kind of rare in, um... Gen... 8, weren't they? I guess. I honestly don't really remember. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that animation new? I have never seen that. <laughs> I'm not trying to escape, bro. I want to add you to my team. Well, <laughs> my box team. We're already blocked, buddy. <laughs> blocked. Blocked. None of you are free of sin. Oh. Is this all you know how to do? It does. It does have the uh, the X's on it. It would be more dignified if you you know you struggle. There we go. Oh God. Okay. What does that do exactly? Uh, Pokemon that are flying or levitating are able to be hit by ground type moves now. You can buff yourself a lot, but I'm not really seeing you do anything else here. Please get in the ball. Wow. Oh boy. Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. Oh, it was a crit, that's why. I don't think speed really matters in this anymore. Oh, Agda, go. Mm, do you have any Ultra Balls? Dusk Ball would work, yeah, because it's nighttime. I use those all the time, because they can't in caves as well. Oh yeah, they're great. I think they had to nerf them when they first added them. I think Duskball was like four times catch rate. Jeez. And I think they took them down to three. Good lord. It's kind of sad when you realize the Great Balls are only 1.5 times catch rate. I think Ultra Balls are two. The hell are you? That is a psychic type Pokemon. Oh my. Okay. Uh, Goku? Well, we're gonna have to find the Dragon Balls now. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Goku was killed by an ostrich. <laughs> I'm sure that's something they would do in Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll heal him. What are you? That is... Ghost and Grass, I think. Interesting combo. Not the first time they've done that.
Please don't be like level 100. Ah, good enough. If it's a ghost, you can't hit it with fighting ah, I should have listened. Oh no. Uh-huh. Well, uh, fortunately you got a bit lucky with the RNG there. Hopefully this works. It worked. <laughs> never punished. <laughs> never ever punished, thus I never learned. A soul unable to move on to the afterlife was blown around by the wind until it got tangled up with dry grass and became a Pokemon. The ghost Pokedex entries are always like that. <laughs> this dude died of food poisoning, now he's like an anaconda or something. Let's see, what was this? Flying type. I think that's a. Is that a Growlithe? It looks like a Growlithe. Can't tell if it's a Growlithe or a Nidoran, but I don't think Nidoran is in this game. One more thing. I have done a level 2 raid, but that was off camera. I like how you said we should go to the second gym and then immediately didn't go to the second gym. <laughs> it's the thing with me, as far as I say a lot of things. It's kind of your job. <laughs> That's a statement of fact. Love Magnemite. Oh no! Not bad for a first turn. Just need to survive until I can uh, terrestrialize. Yeah, I would recommend not terrestrializing right away. Because if you terrestrialize and then get KO'd, you lose it and you don't get to do it again. <laughs> Although, this this thing's probably going to die before then anyway. Ah, no! Yeah, that is the problem with Tad Bulb, is it's very, very weak. Does that change when it evolves? Yeah, Belly Bulb is much better. Honestly, if you wanted to go ahead and throw the Thunderstone at it, wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> Might just do that, Spa. There is a group of people on Twitter that get very upset whenever you don't match the design of the Pokemon with the Pokeball you put it in. Uh -huh. And I just don't understand. Like, I get wanting to match it, but they just get irrationally angry if you, like, catch a Pokemon in a different colored ball or whatever. People on the internet getting angry. I think you made that up. Mm. <laughs> if only. About as likely as people lying on the internet. Oh, man. Alright, I've got a few more things. That describes literally nothing, Tom. Good job. I love Arcanine's design, but... Physical fire-type attacker really hurts, because your best option is Flare Blitz, which has recoil. And I just don't like recoil attacks. That's fair. All right, let's actually do what I said I was going to do now. Nice. Right, which direction is uh, the grass place in, mate? It is east from Mesa Goza. Uh, close to where the first Titan was at. Okay, that's uh, Poison Crew. That's looking Steel Titan. A little further south. A little further south. That's the third gym. There's your second gym. Okay, okay. Oh, and I'm kind of close to it as well. Well, you're not currently, but you can fly close to it. 
You always gotta be so pedantic, Spot, don't you? Well, I gotta correct you if you're gonna correct me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm neutral most of the time. <laughs> I'm a bad liar, so I couldn't say I'm right all the time. <laughs> That's six for that, I guess. Once again, a fantastic episode of N Tom Presses Buttons. You're trying to figure out where to go, at least, instead of just running blindly in a direction. Oh, I see it. Sha sha! He has to, like, pause and catch his breath. Wouldn't you have to after a drop like that? Oh, you were just close enough. Thankfully, I'm uh, level enough that I can get away. Yeah, I mean, Rock-type Pokémon has low speed, so they're easy to run from anyway. I don't think I've ever seen a trainer with this model. Interesting. Is Bug good against Fairy? I want to say it's neutral. Uh, Dark is weak to Fairy, though. On the other hand, you're also 9 levels above it. Or 11, actually. <laughs> oh, it's even not very effective against it. And it only has Tackle. <laughs> Shout out to Az, who spent 3,000 years wandering around for a Pokemon that you can find just about anywhere. Hey, his was a very particular Flabebe. <laughs> that was a variant you had to, like, travel south in your country to get. I don't think you've caught a cloth yet. Oh, I remember. It was because of its sickening cry. Nah, I didn't think so. I think not. That was better. Will that much HP make any difference? Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> Very cool. We must all surely return to Crab one day. I don't know why that process works, and I'm too lazy to go look up why. That thing is four feet tall. That's kind of horrifying. <laughs> what? Like, what way? Just a four foot tall crab. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I thought you were like, hey, this dude's short, but no, a four-foot crab would be pretty terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you gonna swap some of the other party members in so they could get some XP? Uh, like what? Like, uh, Weasel or Knackley? Um. Because you're gonna need something leveled up for the fire base if you want to do that one. Uh, we'll, we'll just continue with what we have for now. We will get to that gym. We're literally on the road there. There's the Gimme Ghoul on the sign next to this trainer. Don't worry, I saw it. And now I hear it. <laughs> Toxel evolves into one of my other top five Pokemon, Toxtricity. Mm -hmm. I have caught a Toxel, actually. Told you that the other day. Haha, uh -huh. you cannot do shit to a ground type. Oh, this is a great battle so far. P please stop doing that. Not because it hurts, but just because it's annoying. Da -da 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 -da. Always getting fat stacks. Ooh. 
It was further away than I expected. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually pretty far from the first Titan. <laughs> There's another one. They're on those signs quite often. I shall keep an eye out. You will know it by its low frame rate windmill. Oh, you found an outbreak of Larvitar up there. Well, shit. I can't even blame you for that one because I jumped before you said anything. Oh, hello. Have some Fruit Loops, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a Pompadour. It's a Squawker Belly. Alas. I haven't done anything, so you cannot mimic me. It just mimics throwing the Pokeball and it captures you instead. <laughs> These other Squawkabilly are all, like, ganged up to, <laughs> to watch this happen. Like, oh no. <laughs> nice. They were ready for a beatdown, and you just caught it instead. What is that clicking noise? Oh, does it come in different colors? Uh, yes, I believe it does. Because I think there's, like, a green one as well. Yeah, there is. Oh. oh. Can we get a camera? Just in time for the grass gym. It grew two inches. <laughs> Lock six. Low kicks. Thank you. When it decides to fight all out, it stands on its previously fallen legs to enter showdown mode. It neutralizes its enemies in short order. I read that as slow down mode. Showdown mode makes more sense. <laughs> uh, it still kind of makes sense. Lunge is a good bug type move. 80? Jesus. Yeah, let's get rid of pass. Very nice. I wonder if I could buy Ultra Balls yet. Probably not. Probably not until the city for the fourth gym, or later than that. Artisan. There it is. Yeah, now you see why I connected this city to the windmills. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's more of a classic style windmill. Not waste any time and just get straight to business. Yo, they got those wooden playgrounds over there? Yeah, that's some good shit. You're gonna become acquainted with this city here in just a second. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is probably my least favorite of the gym challenges. There goes Spa, casting his biases at me again. Oh, hey, Nimona. Vyat and Tom? It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. Are you following me? It sure sounds like it. <laughs> I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie away and go, Oh, weird. Might as well battle you then. <laughs> Shut up. Much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Add these to the mix and you'll be 100% set to go. No problem. Thank you. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. Welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. You know, it's Entom, yes? Great. Now, in order to face Gym Leader Brassius, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hind Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. Though our artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. 
Since some flora embody these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Uh, might as well, they're not good for battling. Remember, these Pokémon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up ten of them and bring them to the Sunflower Lawn, and you pass the test. Okay. Once you're at the Lawn's entrance, the staff are there will tell you more about the gym test. Get out there and have fun! Is that an order? If you don't have fun, you don't pass the test. Oh no! I'm sorry, I have clinical depression, what do you want from me? <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so just over here. Did I run right past the guy? I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Oh, I would hate to live in this city if this happens multiple times a day. Nah. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I am pretty sure there's more than ten, so you don't have to find all of them. Are <laughs> you even trying? <laughs> there's another one. Literally, there's... What? There's no way they put three right at the entrance. I don't remember that at all. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. I can still ride. And they'll follow you just a little bit further behind. There's one. Another one on the bridge right there. Yep. Thank you for allowing me to jump into that. Have they changed this? Because this is way easier than what I remember. Maybe it's randomized. I don't think so, because I feel like they were in the same positions the second time I played the game. Uh, oh, a quick claw. Nice. Oh, quick claw is really great. Oh, TM. What is a TM but Tim with the eye cut out? Oh, fling is not that great. Alas. Uh, there's a hedge maze right to your left. There's definitely a couple in there. I was wondering what that was. Look at this guy actually going into the maze normally instead of just jumping over the hedges. I don't have high jump yet. <laughs> you can jump that high. Oh, oh, maybe not. All right. Look at this guy doing a real river. That's you. <laughs> Great impersonation. Thank you. I practiced for years on top of a mountain. Oh, hello. One more. I think your Clodsire already knows Poison Tail. I believe it does. There you go. Now you gotta get back to the lawn. I have a big base to you. Now I sleep in uh, a race car with my wife, actually. Your package came in the mail. It's a bit free, but whatever. Let me see my glorious low frame rate gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got this you got through this way quicker than I was expecting. I don't remember them having just three right at the fucking start. I <laughs> turned <laughs> around and one just there. God bless him. <laughs> it's gotta be their engine, right? Uh, there's something going on. Cause the engine for Xenoblade isn't that bad. <laughs> now please head back, but you know, model of software wizards. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. True. They couldn't work their magic quite as much on Breath of the Wild, though. I, I feel like Tears of the Kingdom run a little better. Not much, but they already had the engine in place. So. I, I feel like that's going like. 
at least a couple degrees higher than what Xenoblade and Xenoblade 3 did, though. Are you ready to challenge Jim Lee to Brassius, the verdant virtuoso? I am. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. This is going to be a massacre. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. There is no chance because they expected you to go here way sooner. <laughs> nah, greetings, challenger. This guy is way extra, though. Sorry, we couldn't actually animate the jump. You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception displayed in Finding Silver Flora was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? The way you turned around and there was three of them just sitting there. Let us begin creating our collaborative work of art. It's kind of weird how Bug is first and then it's Grass, because Bug beats Grass. Yeah, it is weird. But, KD only had two Pokemon, and this guy has three. You might also understand a little better when you see his third. <laughs> Anyway, uh... Sorry. <laughs> you know I had to do it to him. Magnificent. The crystal on top is so small. <laughs> Oh, so I go uppy. No, I will not switch out. Hmm. I feel like you probably could have evolved that small of, but alright. This is kind of sad. Uh, fortunately, the next one is almost uh, certainly going to be at least a little bit more of a challenge. The, the Suda Wudo is why he beats the bug gym, by the way. Ah, okay. Well, let's see how well I do, because I do have the terror boost. Again, you would be much smarter to not do this. Truly Wudo? He's going to turn it into an actual grass type. Whatever you're cooking, send it back. Aw, oh, now Suda Wudo is actually a plant like it always wanted to be. It's not Suda Wudo, it's just Wudo. One HP, really? Oh, it has 30, okay. <laughs> Alright, does Rock Throw kill you? Probably not. Well, it doesn't get stabbed anymore. True. It didn't even use it, it used a grass type move because he's an idiot! Why are you a gym leader? <laughs> <laughs> You're really invested in this. Oh, I don't like when NPCs are dumb. <laughs> Second botch gap. Took one more turn than expected just because it's dirty. Is there a turn limit on terrestrialization? Does it end after a while? I don't even know. Hmm. I don't know why he seems surprised. Huh. My my hair would probably itch if I had thorns in it too. Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything you did was honed to perfection. Y you picked one type that was super effective and used it <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Yeah, I guess. 
That's pretty cool. We're both going to explain to you why Steven Universe sucks. <laughs> Anton would never do that. Yeah, that's like, if I've ever been kidnapped, that's how you'll know I've been kidnapped. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, that's the movie used. Yeah, but where? Ah, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottom as well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. I wish he just jumped away. Squala. Pardon me, would you be the end, Tom, I've been hearing so much about? Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the Academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. Nice. I also teach art classes at the Academy. Yeah, makes sense why you're here. I want to get stronger. My friend asked me to. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. This test was a waste of time. Wow. For saying she wants to battle me so much, she hasn't battled me all that much. They don't want to give you too many, like, every time you go there. Should you continue striving to reach the champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. Not bloody likely. No, I'm okay. 